Welcome back to the Artie Lag Show. Joe keeps hanging up. I think he hung up again. Oh, no. He keeps calling back. So if Joe calls back, we'll put him right on with Kriegel. <laughs> Mark Kriegel is here, one of the best writers I know. Good man. Lives in L.A. now, NFL AM. Knows everything about everything. Every type of sport. Basketball. Got the playoffs now. Lot to talk about. Mark Kriegel, how are you? What's up, fellas? Hey. How you doing? Better than you. Huh? No. Better he's... than you. Why? I'm worried, you know. I... Oh, yeah. the diabetes is fine. All right. That's well, it's well in check. I mean, you know. Artie's lost 25 pounds. I mean, I, there's no reason to worry about my health. That's for sure. All right. <laughs> yeah, he's on the road to recover. I appreciate it. Well, you're in, you're in good shape. You're a very... Uh... Yeah. Yeah, you look it's, like it's you kept... The Grecian, your... the Grecian formula. Well, it's hair dye, I think. But I, I, besides that, I'm talking like, you know, you're, you're, you're in good shape. You're, yeah. You look like an athlete. Yeah, well, I think so. And you cover athletes. It's a matter of opinion. Did you see Russell Wilson's divorce coming down the pike? No, I did not. Did you ever see his wife? <laughs> she's pretty hot, right? She's hot, but she uh, had, no. she's possessed. There's a yeah. picture of her. Google those two. There's a picture of her with her mouth open. When he got drafted. And her teeth, her teeth exposed like, yeah. like Cujo. And it looks like she's going to tear his neck out. Well, yeah. I'm Googling it right now. Mrs. Russell Wilson? Yeah. Yeah. A draft At day. Dra draft day put, yeah. This is terrible, man. When you see her. <laughs> that just, is no, that we'll, Photoshop? We'll, we'll know when you see her because we'll hear a, a guttural reaction. Is it? <laughs> you see, <laughs> you see the big. I mean, is that photoshopped? I mean, no, no. Well, I was. What we were watching it live. She made the face, and then they they slow mowed it. I can't get over that. You see, Sorry, you guys are picking on her. Dude, picking on her. She. I called it. She's crazy. Yeah, she looks unmanageable. What's what's the thing? What's the dog doing? You see this dog here? Yeah. The no, the dog. Yeah, there's something going on. There's the relatives in the background. There's the white family in the background, you know? Yeah, that would be hers. <laughs> hey, uh, All right. the one guy looks upset. <laughs> what do you think, Mark, about the fact that uh, the Seahawks announced this? The team announced because you can't Russell let her, Wilson's you can't, divorce. She, he's not talking to her probably ever again because she's crazy, and you don't want her talking. Well, why would his team announce well, this? I tell you what, I'm just... I'm just surprised the 49ers didn't announce it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. No, nah, I, I listen. Intel. I, I saw it coming. I saw it coming down the pike. You that would saw it coming. Yeah, that would end tragically if she if they didn't get a divorce. She would have shot he's her. Like a well-adjusted guy, he's always talking about you very know, religious and God. And then what yeah. hap What happens? Not everyone can have like you know a family life like John Ritchie. Maybe she's a heathen. Maybe she nah. showed her true colors. You mean her two fangs? Yeah, Man. look at them. Look at that. He's happy. Why are you going to pick on him for that? I feel I'm worried like about the dog. The man's getting divorced. That is, it is a little bit shocking. Losing money to this crazy person. He seems like he is so together and so uh, just devout. You know when they have a slow, slow motion on the animal planet with the cheetah when it goes right for the, the, the neck of the gazelle? Yeah. That's, that's what on, it looks like. Right. Come on, this ain't right. Uh, no, terrible. <laughs> The, the only worst thing I've ever seen is Mariana Rivera's wife. That's the worst. <laughs> Clara. Clara Rivera. Have you seen Clara Rivera? No. Uh. Mm. Google that. <laughs> and let's wait for the reaction. <laughs> oh, no. he's, another, he's another devout guy. Yeah, he uh, is. Well, no, he clearly is. That he's works. making it work. That works. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the church God. is sending over some duds. <laughs> if I were the 49ers, I would have announced it. Yeah. yeah. Well, what about Johnny Manziel, man? I think this is a spoiled kid. I don't like him. I yeah. never saw a guy whose whose pro day was that kind of production. Yeah. I mean, he made like you know he made his, his, his Nike deal. Yeah. Well, that's you know, a new, he announced his new line. Basically, these guys immediately Every, immediately become billionaires. It's crazy. It's it's not. I don't think it's crazy. You look, basketball players do it all the time. No, it's a culture uh, shock when, almost. Yeah, I just, I just think, look, he's been the leading man of the draft, the draft process, whatever the hell you want to call it. I think he's fool's gold. 
I wouldn't, mm. you know, this whole talk about drafting him number one. He doesn't. He doesn't strike. Five. Yeah, he doesn't strike me as a great pro for some reason. I don't know. He, if, if he's going to be a great pro, he'll be a great pro. But you better commit to running the Johnny Manziel offense. You can't run like a regular offense. You got to run like the Johnny Manziel offense. Well, let's see what the Johnny. Offense. Let's see what the Johnny Manziel offense does against Seattle. That's the right. problem. But I mean, but he's not he's not as thick as Russell Wilson. No. You're gonna be asking him to do more things than a Russell Wilson. I don't um, think he has an arm like Russell Wilson. He certainly doesn't have a wife. So he, you know, Russell Wilson when he was asked to, made every throw he you know, every yeah. throw. Yeah. And what I don't understand is Johnny Manziel wasn't a top you know, a top top pick until this the combine and then the, everyone was wowed by the pro day because of his, yeah, si- his size, size, his size, yeah, because of his size and stuff. You know, that's what they look at. They don't look no, at. But, but here's the thing. But it, it was it was a whole made for television show. Mm-hmm. Well, no every, one, everything no one is. jumped up more during during the the draft. You know, the combine and, and after the season than Johnny Manziel. It, it, everyone talks about oh, what's available on film? Look at his film. Look at his film. But Bridgewater, who put in all his film. During the seasons, mm-hmm. he dropped. Manziel climbed up. You know what hurt Teddy Bridgewater? The the RG three. RG RG three tanking a little bit has hurt a, a quarterback like Bridgewater. They, they, no, you no, know, they're, they're afraid. They're, they're different. They're, diff, they're different quarterbacks. They're different quarterbacks. But hurt. I think but hurt Bridgewater. He had a lousy. I mean, a lousy pro day when it's yeah. all scripted for you. And he's two hundred, about two hundred pounds, two hundred eight yeah. pounds at the most. I, he's enough, the he's, fact that he's he smaller than he's smaller than Manziel. He no, is he? Yeah. Weight wise, I didn't know yeah, that. Weight-wise. Well, not. I'm, I'm talking weight-wise. height. I'm talking about seeing over the line. He's he's got he's got such slender like wrists and ankles. You just right. worry about him breaking. And right. and the fact that he is so dependent upon gloves is bizarre to me. Well, they, they're That's, allowed they're allowed to wear them if a guy wants to. Like to talk about receivers too. If you're allowed to wear them and a guy grips better, I you guess. Like that. That's bizarre, though. When those things get wet, they're not as good. I mean, you are dependent upon something just to be able to do the main job of your position, throwing the football. You couldn't get it wet. Well, the, those maybe gloves should, are terrible when they're should, wet. What about pine tar, maybe? He needs something, I think, <laughs> because uh, he just doesn't have a good grip on the ball. I mean, I does think, he have small hands, I Mark? Think, you know what Panetti should do with the pine tar, Mark, is what you do, put it in your hair. <laughs> <laughs> But that's, that's, that's a typical baseball silliness. Everyone does it, yeah. but it's a big deal if you get caught. You get caught. Well, his, I mean, it looked like he had a growth there, for crying out loud. You know, he wasn't subtle about it. <laughs> oh, and that hat slightly to the side. I can't watch the guy. I can't watch the guy. <laughs> no, the best was, the best was uh, when he came out. And even like the Red Sox say, you know, if you're going to cheat, go ahead, but don't, don't do it so blatantly. That, that's the whole thing, the, the archaicness of baseball. Well, the best cheating is 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 really uh, historically in your face, obvious. Like, you can't believe how brazen it is. Like, what Belichick did, to me, is hilarious. Yeah, but he wasn't supposed to get busted. That's, well, you know, that's what I mean. Mm-hmm. But that was the original of the pine tar thing, right? Remember when Billy Martin comes out, it's over the bat, oh, that's the out. greatest. That's the greatest clip ever, when Greg Nettles but, gets all excited right. and Brett goes, and, Billy Martin and Greg Nettles are all... Excited! They right. sc- they screwed and him and over Brett, on technicality. Take a home right, run. That's Brett's how head explodes. Yeah, but it's the same thing like Pineda. It's like, what are you talking about? It was halfway up. It was like three quarters up my up the bat the whole way. I've been playing in this league for how long? Now are you calling this on me? Well, Not- no. I mean, th- but this was you. C- you couldn't ignore it. It looked like you know he needed medication <laughs> or something. He was breaking out. <laughs> <laughs> Remember Joe Negro with the file? That's the that, that's the best thing. Ever. <laughs> he, keep it in his glove he had it in his back pocket, and he just threw it on the ground. <laughs> and the ump sees it. First of all, Joe Negro at that point looked like he was sixty-seven years old. Right. You know, and it looked like Hal Holbrook. About forty-seven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what he looked like. And and yeah, that, but stuff like that. Somehow, some guys get away with it. I think they should allow the spitball. If a guy could throw it, throw it. They allow a knuckleball. What's the difference? No, no, it's, it's unsanitary. You don't like a spitball? Spitball is... Uh, Gaylord Perry got away with it forever. So did Mike Scott. Remember Mike Scott in the 86 League Championship Series mowing down the match? They couldn't hit him. Yeah. 
He kept licking his finger and laughed? Yeah, well, it's baseball. No one, no one, the funny thing is baseball used to exist in April. Yeah, well, it doesn't it, exist anymore. It's two degrees here now. We had a rough winter. Right. It's a terrible April. But you got you got the NBA playoffs. Well, you're right. Why don't you? This draft. Yeah, you're right. Why? You right. Why not? The, the yeah, go ahead. The, when we were kids. The draft is a huge deal now. It's like the Oscars. Hey, who who do you have going first, Mark? You got uh, Clowney. Yeah, I got Clowney. Yeah. Although you know the the um, the Falcons put him through all these like. Uh, Super human scientific test today to see if they want to trade up for him. They did. Yeah. Well, like what? Are, what are superhuman tests? I don't even. I don't even know what it is. Some kind of like science. Some kind of. They, it wasn't a workout. They just put him through these tests. Hmm. Mental, crazy. mental, and physical. No physical. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's, you know In Atlanta, Jar Davy and Clowney. Can you spell that? J a d e v e o n. There you go. They changed. You know, he he announced that it's it's pronounced differently than everyone's been saying it. Who, I've I've never pronounced it right one. I know. And it's I will continue. Damien, I'm sticking with it. Yeah. yeah. I hear from him. I, I don't like I when. Yeah. Him. He maintains now that it's Jadavian. I don't like when people change their names. I don't like that. Jadavian. Yeah, yeah. Jadavian. Yeah. But I would, uh, I would change the spelling. Yeah. Well. Because I, that way you can remarket yourself. I guess you're right. Prince, you he could probably use that? some of that remarketing. P. Diddy. I couldn't stand that one. So the Falcons. So you think the they, Falcons they are going? They worked them out. Yeah. They worked them out, and they gave him these. Uh, what are these tests? I don't. Wonderlick. No, not a wonderlick. What's that? Not a not a wonderlick. What is a wonderlick? Wonderlick is like the half an IQ test. Oh, okay. Yes. Cross cutting edge testing with the Falcons. Hmm. Pro, um, what's it, what called? Is it called? CrossFit. A cutting edge athletic performance program. What do they make you do? I don't know. Force plate. It's always the same okay, skills you need: plate. running, jumping, catching, throwing. I don't know what a, a force uh, plate is. That one of those the uh, the vibrating plates? I don't know, man. I don't know. That's, that's illegal, I think. <laughs> that sounds like the orgasmic song. It's vibrating. That's like, you know, you can't do that with horses either. Uh. <laughs> How do you know? Because you remember they put the buzzer on the horses? Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, so so what was the vibe after the workout that uh, the Falcons were thinking? I'm assuming that they, they, it's like every, John, it's like everything else in football now. It's reduced to a number. Mm-hmm. That's it. Why even have scouts? Why even have a scout? What, what about the intangible? What about the heart of the guy? Do like, they have anybody who rates that stuff? Well, we've already talked that one to death. Yeah. You know, because he, he was such a great athlete. I don't understand what you could possibly need to measure about him as an athlete. You saw him at the combine. Right. He's the best athlete in, in college sports, college yeah, football. Yeah, probably no, the best okay, athlete period. coming That's, out in you know, no, Jarconian clowns? like 20 years. Yeah. We're talking about him right. still? Yeah. So, the, uh, yeah. so draft him or not? I mean, but I, I if if you're going to draft, I mean, I don't understand the speculation about drafting Manziel number one. I really don't. I mean, well, you're ready to Bill O'Brien needs. I doubt he's going to be a good player. Bill O'Brien wants a quarterback. I mean, right now, who's your quarterback? If you're the Texans, you got Ryan Fitzpatrick, right? That's not winning. Here's here's the okay. Look at the other side, right? Picking Manziel. Could get a GM fired. Yep. Look at all the. I think you're under. I think you're under Bridgewater. I really do. I don't know. Uh, you I know. think he's the third, third quarterback taken, man. Yeah. I like Bridgewater. Right. Bridgewater. Right. Uh, he's fallen so far. I think Bortles goes first, and then uh, someone's gonna, someone's gonna take a flyer on on Manziel. Hey, uh, speaking of speaking of quarterbacks going in the draft. Like a couple of years ago, we were all talking about Russell Wilson, right? Going in the first round. Yeah. Nobody was. He went in the third right. round. Right. Kaepernick went in the second round. And everyone was shocked. Wow. He was all excited too. He was excited he even got drafted. That's why that, that girl's making that face. When Russell Wilson was drafted, everyone was shocked <laughs> that the Seahawks took him that early. Yeah, right. that they went nuts. The whole family went nuts. Yeah. You know, so. But he got on a team. He got on a team with the best defense almost ever. I mean, that's what. He didn't even have a receiver then. I mean, Sidney Rice was all crippled up. Yeah. You know, I mean, they didn't ask him to do much. He was in. 
he made the most of a really good situation. It's all, you know, all the credits to him. You know, I mean, he, he did everything he was asked to do. And when he was finally asked to throw at the end of that season against the Falcons, he did. Yeah. Um, he okay. was asked to do very little. Johnny Manziel is going to be asked to do everything from jump suit. The thing that it be so easy. the thing that worries me about Manziel is it seems like his biggest plays come when things break down and he improvises. I mean, you can't do that in the NFL. You can't just rely on running around and making plays. So, well, that, they threw RG3, there's what RG three was a type of guy who could do that, and I think he is. Mm, RG three, yeah. he he might be, he might be better. I don't know. RG three was a world class athlete, like a world class yeah. hurler, sprinter. Yeah. And when he was going well, he was great. I I thought he was gonna I thought he was gonna have a I thought he was gonna blow people away. Through his, he's like the smartest guy. He's like you know the most athletic. He could like I think he's a rare guy that can improvise. I thought he was gonna go nuts. I, I really he overrated, did. I overrated him. No, he did his rookie Marty, year. His rookie year wasn't that amazing. Well, it was a Marty, lot better than his last year. year. His his rookie year is is astounding. No one there, there's never been an athlete that played with that much proficiency, made so few mistakes, and did so much as a rookie at a, at a quarterback position? You look at his touchdowns to interceptions his rookie year, it's, it's insane. Plus, he ran for 800-some-odd yards. Mm. Um, he, was, he was the most dangerous guy out there. I mean, he was more efficient than, than Luck. I mean, Luck threw more, threw more picks. Yeah. Who, would you, who, would you uh, rather, who would you rather have, both 100% healthy, Luck or RG3? Luck. Not, luck, not even close. Cause luck, luck is luck is the size of a linebacker. Yeah, he's Same a big with guy. Cam no, that's what I mean. He looks like like Luck is built like Bernie Kosar and John Elway. You know, he's big, he's prototype. Bigger, he's bigger than those guys. But he, here's, but here's my point. Let's go back to Manziel, right? RG three is way bigger than Manziel. Yeah. Tower. Yeah, over. that's that's, yeah. He's that's bigger. He's thicker. He's you know so. You can't insulate a guy. You can't protect a guy from getting hit. What happens when Johnny Manziel gets hit? Is he Fran Tarkenton? I don't know. Maybe. But he's, what if he's not? He seems, he's, he's, got he's, he's gotten hit pretty hard on the college level. He seems kind of tough. Like how he's nuts. Yeah, I mean, he dives do? head first. Oh, no. There's no question he's he's got toughness. But, you know, there's a reason why teams, some teams don't go outside the prototypical height, weight, you know, scenario. Yeah, they because just historically it speaking, yeah, if it works, if it's not broken, he no is picture. an outlier if he's successful in the NFL. He is one in a hundred. Uh, and it, do you want to take that risk if you're a GM? Do you want to risk your job on a guy that uh, probably, odds are, historically speaking, he will not make it in the NFL? Right. But I, some, but there are teams out there who who absolutely adore him, and someone will take a chance. If he makes it, he makes it huge. Yeah. But I, I, I mean, so. would I take a risk on him in a lower round? Absolutely, of course. The upside is great. But yeah. You're talking about him as a, as, a, as a top pick, a top five pick, a top, you know, a number one pick. Right. No, I wouldn't do it. No way. Right. Well, I think yeah. some team's going to reach. I think. Uh, what yeah. do you, What do you think is going to happen with the Knicks? I'm getting fed up. Oh, this is, I, I love this story. <laughs> with, with, all of a sudden, Dolan doesn't want, doesn't want uh, people fired? Yeah. His people? Right. Yeah, I, I know. I know. Right. right. He's, he's starting to control. He's, he's starting to interfere already. It's terrible. Yeah. It's terrible. He's I mean, off. You no. Know, look, it's the, it's the death of a glorious hippie, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, you think? Once, you, once you're taking this guy's money, it's like, you know. He's taking the money and run. Hey, can, you, know, can, you, thought, can, you thought you could change him. Look what happened. Can you hang out, Creed? What's this? Can you hang out? we got to take a break. Sure. All right. Back with Mark Creed. Let's do this. The Artie Lang Show. Weeknights on Audience. Only on DirecTV.